Hey, what's up guys? I'm Valentino from Next Gen Speed, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys all about the new 2018 Mustang GT. Today I'm joined here from Rob Demmer from Jack Demmer Ford over near Canton, Michigan. I'm gonna show you guys all about it. The king of all Mustang GTs has finally arrived for the 2018 model year after we've been hyped up for a while. This all new and improved S550 is back with some killer options and power the Mustang should have had for a while. This car is said to have a faster 0-60 than not just the Camaro, but the Scat Pack and pretty much any car in this class. With a new redesign, 10 speed auto and 460 horsepower, how really good is this car? Is it all what the hype's about? Well let's check it out. The 2018 GT includes a bunch of new features from the new design to more power to active exhaust and to the 10 speed automatic transmission. Regular GT started about 35k, where the hooked up premium model starts at about 39, but for a hooked up one with the premium options and other stuff like that, you can expect to pay around 45 to 50 grand. We know this is a brand new Mustang, but what is all the hype about? Well, let's check it out. The first thing you can notice about this 2018 GT in shadow black is the new design. This new Mustang features an entirely new hood that includes new heat extractors that are standard, that are R functional, new front fenders, a new bumper cover that has a sleeker look that not too many people are a fan of with a new fog light design and sure signal spots with the upper and lower grille. The headlights on this are also updated that kind of wrap under the hood. And on the back of this Mustang, you see the new rear end. You see the rear end is a new revamped taillight design that makes them kind of straighter and not curved. Kind of makes it pop out a little bit more, makes it a little more aggressive. And on the back of this car, you can finally see this new quad tip exhaust design that Ford has finally brought out with the Mustang that's been lacking for a while. And this will be standard on all 18 Mustang models. And with this new front and rear design, you expect the size will be different, but they are pretty much the same, besides some new 18 and 19 and 20 inch wheel setups. Whereas this one is coming with the 20 inch premium painted aluminum wheels with 265. 35 20 tires that are all season. Now this pony comes equipped with the obvious 5.0 V8, the legendary engine revamped to give you maximum power of 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. And with the dyno numbers that we've been recently seeing on these new cars, it expected this car has more than 460 horsepower. So it's kind of underrated. And if you're a manual kind of guy, this car comes standard with a 6-speed manual that is updated from the last generation, but it does include the new 10-speed automatic that pretty much gives this car an edge over the rest in this class. And if you're keen on miles per gallon, this car gets about 16 city and about 25 highway, which is pretty much the same as last generation. And this car doesn't include an independent rear suspension, and it's standard with a 3.15 limited slip rear axle, but this certain model will come with a 355 limited slip. The front brakes include a four-piston caliper with single piston in the back, with an option to six person up front. And magnetic ride dampers are finally available on this 18 model as a special option for 1700. But now that we know all the specs and what equipment it's got, how does the baby sound? Now with this new 2018 GT Mustang, this car will come with an active exhaust with a dual exhaust mode, allowing you to choose from a quiet, normal, sport, and track option for the exhaust, making it from quiet to loud, giving the option to make it loud or quiet, which is pretty awesome. As you can see right now, this is just the quiet mode. normal mode
you can see from this car, from the old generation Mustang, this car has been beefed up with a new exhaust that sounds amazing from factory, which the Mustang has been lacking for a while now. The interior on this car is pretty much the same as the 2017, as this one does not have the updated LCD speedometer, and it also does not have the new blue interior. On the Mustangs, you kind of expect something simple and kind of modern. There's nothing too crazy inside, but it is kind of nice. The interior does include a lot of aluminum trim. Kind of make it pop a lot more than just some, a bunch of random plastic. And the seats are a little bit too soft in my opinion. The metal seats are a little bit more stiff. They kind of hold you better and are more soft and kind of just floppy and loose. So if I would get a Mustang, I would get the Recaro seats. And overall, it is pretty nice, but I feel like they could have did a way better job in the interior. Could have put a lot more work into it make it look way better and more updated instead of just having this old plain old thing that the Mustang always had. And at least there isn't a bunch of hard plastic and it is spacious, it does feel nice and does have good visibility. And unfortunately on this 18 GT, I was not able to drive it for this review, but I will have a driving review coming soon as soon as I set one up. The car did feel way more in tune though compared to the last generation, <laughs> way more power than it had before, great throttle response as I felt from the distance in the passenger seat. Kind of threw me back a little bit. It's the transmission shifted so fast. It just I can't wait to drive it. And this car did not have magnetic ride control, but the overall feel of this car did feel good. Felt nice and stiff, and just felt planted to the ground compared to the last model, compared to older models especially. Man, that sounds so good. <laughs> Barely even hitting it sounds good. <laughs> That's awesome. And the active exhaust in this car sounded amazing, honestly. Compared to the old gens, like compared to any other car without an active exhaust, you just need to have that active exhaust. Because the car just sounds way more beefy. And especially at idle, you can actually hear the car. That's just the perfect tone that isn't too loud, isn't too quiet, and just isn't too crazy or nothing like that. Unless you actually hear the car while you drive it. It's an awesome car. And if you would like to check out this 18 GT, head over to Jack Denver Ford in Wayne, Michigan over on Michigan Avenue. We'll be glad to help you out with a bunch of Ford vehicles and a bunch of other Ford Mustangs. And follow our YouTube channel at Jack Denver Ford. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe for more. A lot more content for you guys coming, a lot more for reviews. And I will have an 18 GT review for you guys coming about driving it. So please stay tuned for that. Just gotta get something set up. But yeah, please leave comments below what you guys think. I will see you guys next time.